Hello everybody and welcome to Innocentious Place, Aurora 4X. So, we are now in the year 50. It's been such a long time since the, since the Third World War broke out. But tensions are rising in our solar system. But things are good at the moment. The protection level requested from Luna is still really low. Now, I don't really know if this is actually normal for my game because every time I've played it so far it was way higher at this level so I'm kind of afraid that it might be a bug if so I'm terribly sorry I'm not I don't have any idea what level this should be but maybe this is what it's supposed to be because of the planetary stability being so super low I really have no idea so if it is a bug then I'm sorry that you don't really get to experience this level as well but we're gonna kind of act upon it as the way it is right now and not going to artificially up it. So but the unrest is rising in our role playing style of this solar system and universe and we are afraid that Actually, maybe something will happen with Luna and Mars. We're not sure yet what. Uh, but the council is worried. Maybe something should change. And some of the council members did send out the geological survey group to survey the planets for minerals and also find some extra support among the colonized systems, uh, colonized moons and planets because a lot of people are living there right now without representation and there was this really famous phrase maybe you've heard of it no taxation without representation and maybe something similar to that can apply here soon as well but in the meantime we still continue the situation on earth becomes a little bit dire because we are building a lot of mines but soon we are running out of minerals luckily for us we are almost done with a refitting and building a new Lexington class freighter and when those freighters are done I think we will start shipping the industry well not the industry itself the mines from earth and putting them first on the moon and then some on Mars as well the reason why Mars is later is because it has neutronium, boronite and corundium while the moon has duranium and we want duranium Duranium is the most important of all for us right now. Because of all the minerals we have quite a stockpile except for Duranium. So yeah, that's gonna be our primary pr uh, priority. And after that probably will sh be shipped to Mars and then Titan as well because it has some Duranium and Titanium that we want to take uh, advantage of but this is gonna be our first priority now do we have some research left to assign we don't but there is some guy who is good at defensive systems so maybe we should assign some labs to him Do we have anything interesting in the defensive systems over here not really the thermal reduction can be really nice but it's not really necessary and so are the delta shields so I'm gonna leave it like this at the moment and we will just increase it with 30 days now ah, the science uh, Manriat Buras has completed research into maximum engine power modifier 1.75 which is nice because I want more of that and we can't there is no more of that oh yeah I, I just straight up failed looking at things a maximum engine power modifier of 2 that's becoming big strong engines and if we have our fighters I kinda want to go and aim for something like 3 times the engine power because fighters they need to be fast and they don't care about fuel because they have tiny fuel tanks which should last them about what 2 days maximum that's pretty much the most they will use their engine for so yeah tiny powerful engines that's what we want on a fighter and I hope it actually ramps up a bit so after 2 it goes back to 2.5 or something like that but 
I'm afraid it doesn't. The construction of mines completed on New Earth. And that's quite an important milestone. Because now we have 1268 mines there and we can start building something else. Because I think that is enough mines. We added about 1000 mines. And to work those mines we need 63 million people. We don't even have enough people to do that at the moment. We literally have a shortage of people on Earth. Now I don't want to decrease the population much more. And I think the moon has enough population to sustain itself right now. So I'm going to put this as a source of colonists instead of a destination. That means people will not be shipping any more colonists to the moon from New Earth. They will actually ship people from the moon to Mars and Titan. Just as they will still ship people from New Earth to Mars and Titan. But the moon has enough people. It has uh, 89 million people available to work. And I think that will be enough to work most of our mines that we will be shipping to Luna anyway. So that's all fine. What do we want to build with our industry on Earth? Uh, we have some terraforming installations still over here. It's not really necessary though, I think. Neither is the maintenance facility at the moment. We could go with some extra naval shipyard complexes for the ships that we're building. Because right now we have only one naval and one commercial. And we're probably going to put out a lot of military ships on later on. Especially if we actually start to go out of our solar system. We can go for a ground force training facility. I believe we already have one level of that. Let's see if I can find it over here. I can't find it over here. Let's go to the ground force unit training. Oh yeah, ground force training uh, activity. We have one facility. So we have at least one facility available to be built. Now we don't really need any more of that either. What I do think we need more of is... Oh, did the music stop? No, the music is just really low. It's uh, build-up music. Uh, what I want to build is some mass drivers. Because these are will be really useful if we start shipping about 1000 industry to the moon. We're gonna need a lot of mass drivers as well. Because every mass driver can only handle 5000 tons of minerals. And we have at the moment capacity for 10,000 tons, but we're already over that production. We're already having a shortage of mass drivers on the moon. Which means every year they will stockpile 443 tons of minerals that we're not getting on Earth. So that's a problem. So I think we should start with building more mass drivers. And we're gonna overdo it by a lot. So we're gonna start with about 20 mass drivers. Which will be done really quickly. They cost not that much of minerals either. It's only a factor uh, for every three points of build points. You only take one source of uranium. Well, there's a neutronium and boronite, but the uranium is the one that's the big problem over here. Now, of course, we are projecting a larger usage than we have. Uh, actually in the stockpile plus production and yada 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 it's gonna be fine uh, we're gonna we can take a little bit longer of it it's no problem at all so this is this is the first thing that we will start producing on earth and let's continue a colonel has been killed in an accident may he rest in peace I hope that was not any military related accidents and a team on earth led by Elder Matsumura has completed research into fighter production raid great so go to construction and production fighter production raid you're good now golden wouldn't change anything let's increase our shipbuilding raid because that would be also nice to have faster ship construction we have expanded our capacity to build our shipyards larger, but not necessarily building the ships uh, faster. And uh, we have the Lexington 007 has been remodeled and almost is 008 done. And I will be really happy with that so we can start shipping things to the moon. 
And I think we will start with some mass drivers first actually. And number 8 is done as well. So we have now 8 Lexington class freighters with really fast engines. Here they are. Aren't they glorious? I love it. So we're gonna load on New Earth Mars driver. How many do we have? Yeah, we're almost done. So we can load about. Um, does it show? Yeah, Mars drivers. We have 18. We can load 17. We have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight ships, eight Mars drivers. Move to the moon. Unload all installations, which should also include the Mars driver. And move back to Earth. And I want to repeat that once. And this should load up 16 of the Mars drivers, which should be more than enough for now. Let's go with a five-day increment, and oh, they fail to load it on Earth. Why? You have eight mass drive. Maybe you didn't unload it. Maybe unload all installations doesn't apply to the mass drivers. That's definitely possible. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and that will take like what? What was it? Three hours? That's five days. That's that's way too fast. Or maybe it just goes. If I put one order in, it will do for all the ships. I'm not sure actually. Let's move back to Earth and let's do it in a slower than a uh, way than I've been doing so far. Oh wait, that this is actually at Earth and Luna. Should zoom in instead of zoom out. Uh, let's see in two minutes what happens. Yeah, you're going quite fast. And another two minutes. And you should be there. Alright. New Earth. Load mass drivers. I assume we still have some on Earth actually. Yeah, we have ten of them. And we're still producing. So we want another eight loaded, please. Uh, load mass driver. Go for a five second increment. It will show it will be done in f five minutes. That's fast. Oh, that's five hours. My bad. Yeah, another two hours. And it's done now. And now I can check how many mass drivers. Yeah, it loads the eight of them. Okay. Move back to the moon and unload mass driver. And then move back to Earth. Yeah, that will take about a day, I assume. Uh, did I say load? I want unload. Unload mass driver. And that should take about five hours again. Alright. They have done their job. Now I want you to move back to Earth. Yeah, and you can do that in an hour easily. So now at the moon we should have about, what is it, 17 mass drivers? 18. Oh yeah, we had two of course in the beginning. So we have a mass driver capability of a lot. Um, can we see that? Yeah, 90,000 90, tons per year. We're not nearly producing that, but maybe soon. Because we're going to ship uh, the mines off the Earth and onto the Moon now. And I want to have a lot of it. So we're gonna load mine, move to the Moon, unload mine, move to Earth, refuel. So I'm going to repeat that a hundred times, which would mean it will do 800 mines in total. 
one mine per uh, Lexington class freighter times uh, 100 is 100 per freighter and there are 8 Lexington class so that makes 800. I hope this is correct the way I think it is. Let's go up a day and see what happens. And let's see if something already changed. Yeah. Mines are being loaded off of Earth and onto the moon. Yeah, and there's definitely something wrong with the protection level. Because normally I've seen the requested protection level from New Earth as well really high. That's a shame. I'm not sure why it broke. I don't think I did anything to it. Maybe in the settings somewhere? I don't know. Well, let's start increasing with 30 day ticks again. And now it is not responding. Ah, it works kind of again. Alright. So, uh, we have a research that is finished. And it's in the missile and kinetic weapons department. And it was a better Gauss cannon fire rate. Which is really good. Because we want a better Gauss cannon fire rate. And we want it probably even more. So even though it's a really difficult research, I want you to increase it. And if we want to do some missiles, we should really get better missile agility and uh, yeah. But I'm not sure if we're gonna deal with missiles right now. It's a lot of work to set up missiles, and they are great. They are amazing weapons, and especially in the beginning, they are definitely by far the best weapons you can have. But I kind of hope that the first system we explore doesn't contain any aliens, even though we're going to prepare 100% for the eventuality that it actually will. And um, yeah, but I don't think we're going to do it with uh, missiles. We're going to have the so the thing what I'm thinking of like the way we've done it so far, the basis that we have is a hangar base with some fighters. So why not? capitalize on the technology that we know the best. It has proven very effective against all the aliens that have so far shown up. Why not test it further to bring it to them as well? So the thing what I'm thinking of is we're gonna design a carrier which contains all the sensors that we need and it's gonna contain the hangar base for the fighters. And it's gonna contain maybe the jump drive for itself as well and it's gonna contain some point events systems and maybe we're gonna design a couple of support vessels which mainly should take the brunt of the fire something like that but mostly the focus the power of our fleet will lay in our fighter base and letting our fighters shoot out of the carrier bring loads and loads of them and just try to swamp them with so many fighters and we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna have a really really hard des time designing those fighters um, they have to be well armored they have to be well armed they have to be fast and agile and they have to be lower than 500 tons and these all combined are really really difficult to design but th we, we get to that later right now we are busy researching the text that we have and maybe we're gonna step off that whole project later on but that's the kind of the thing what I'm going for right now so we have finished the mass drivers on earth what do we want to build now the thing that I think we need is just get a couple of levels in, in a military academy um, having more people join your your staff pool is great and the chance that we get some cool new scientists is awesome and we can drop more of the bad scientists in the meantime also we're gonna use up more and more um, officers if we start to build some military ships as well so maybe that's good but before that I want to build at least let's say four naval shipyards and I want to build let's say two commercial shipyards 
It's first gonna produce the naval shipyards, and when it's done, it's gonna switch to the commercial shipyards. Because we want to start expanding them, especially if we want to have a humongously sized carrier, we need a really, really, really big naval shipyard. And if we're gonna design a couple of support vessels, we want some shipyards that work for that as well. And we, of course, if we're gonna get finally jump theory, point theory, we need to design a vessel that can scout out the jump points itself. And we need a naval shipyard for that as well, because the sensor that you use for that is class as a military uh, part and you kind of need that, that you kind of need a naval shipyard for that then and we need commercial shipyards for a uh, ship like um, a jump gate co constructor because we don't want to use uh, jump drives all the time for our jumping capabilities we also want to have jump gates so we can actually have commercial shipping through the jump gates to our new system. We don't want to have them everywhere because that's dangerous of course. The other people can use them as well, but we want them at least in our primary systems to have some trade. I don't want to do all the hard work myself. It doesn't sound like me. So let's continue. And when the naval shipyards are done, uh, we will start... Wow! the. Freighter Task Group has completed its order already. Summary. Mm, yeah, you shipped about 800. That's That seems about right. So how much are you producing now? 74,000 tons per year. In Duranium, Mercassium, Sorium and Uridium. Well, I gotta give it to you, Luna. That is amazing. And we, with that we solved our worker shortage on Earth as well. That's a really nice thing. And the geological survey on the on Mars has also been done. Ah, a deposit of 332,000 tons of uranium with an accessibility of 0 0.9 has been found on Mars. And that is excellent news. This makes Mars even more valuable than it already was and I'm so happy we have colonized it. This is a really nice stack of minerals that we can use a lot. And we can actually use these locally maybe as well. How, what do you need for a construction factory? Duranium, Tritanium and Ventrite. Duranium? Ah yeah, you're missing like two of the parts already. Unfortunate. But if we ship some of the industry there, what can we do with Neutronium, Boronite and Corundium? Mines? Duranium Corundium is built for mines. And boronite, where do we use boronite for? Terraforming installations? Not that interesting in that though. Neutronium is used for maintenance facilities. Boronite is also used for fuel refineries. And automated mines is just a higher cost of the normal mines. Yeah, interesting. Maybe in the future we'll start shipping some population uh, some industry to Mars to set up some uh, mining construction over there to have it locally but in the meantime this looks like a really nice mix of minerals that we would like to take uh, advantage of but first we're gonna use the survey group and you are at Mars and I want to pick up this team and our next destination, we did uh, Earth, Luna, Mars, and that means Titan. Move to Titan, drop off the team. And you can go do that. Alright. The freighter task group have done, is completed its order, and do we want to ship more mines from Earth? At the moment we have 460 left. And our, yeah, you're mining Sorium, Boronite and Uranium. And none of these are really interesting for us at the moment, so I say let's ship like 400 more of it to the moon. 400 is a nice easy number. So we're gonna go and load mine, move to the moon, unload the mine, move back to earth and refuel. So we have 8 uh, per per trip that we're going to do and we want 400 so that's an easy 50 repeat 
And probably because of this, a lot of orders that he needed to do in a really quick succession in 30 day increment is why the turns went so slowly. Well, that's going to be it for this episode. Next episode, we're going to see the survey of Titan, and hopefully they will find some more minerals over there as well. And I think we will start expanding our mining rate again, so we can start shipping mines to Mars, shipping some mass drivers to Mars, and of course to Titan. Before we make it quit, let's take a quick look at Titan, how the oxygen is doing. That's yeah, coming along. Slowly but surely it's coming along. There's still massive work shortage, which is because we have a infrastructure problem still there. Well, we have some room for growth. But that's all going to be in the next episode. Until then, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.